video on something I'm just having a faff around with. So I'm gonna, I've got some lots of vegetables to use up. So instead of just making soup, I'm gonna do a vegetable bake. So layers of vegetables, cooked vegetables, um, breadcrumbs, and then more vegetables, the more breadcrumbs, more toasted breadcrumbs. So I've got, got some breadcrumbs, which I've always got in the house because I'm always baking bread. Uh, so like the crusts, which you just kind of dry out and then smash up and then fry in olive oil. Um, so there's 300 grams there, so I can remember what the recipe is. There's 300 grams there of, of breadcrumbs, and then I've got some courgettes, the hearts of the courgettes, um, from another experiment. Uh, so just the inside of the of, of courgettes, which I've chopped up and put in there. There's about a kilo, and then there's, no, there's about 700 grams worth of courgettes. Um, I've got some ends as well, but most of it's just the, just the inside. And then there was a couple of tomatoes, um, and the insides of a couple of tomatoes. There, that's about 300 grams worth of tomatoes. Celery, um, celery heart and another celery from another experiment, uh, which was about a kilo. And then we've got 250 grams worth of onions. I've generally always got onions in the, in, in the house. And onions are the basis of a lot of food. And it's one of those ingredients that if you don't, you don't taste it being there like an onion, but you miss it if it's not. So like the onion is a, is a base of things. Um, so, I made myself a, a lasagna, and I, and, I, and I put in extra extra celery into the ragu, and well, it wasn't a ragu because there wasn't any meat in it, or maybe it was a little bit of meat, and because of the excess amount of celery, it was lovely, like the saltiness of the, of the celery made it um, extremely meaty in kind of flavour, so that's the idea with, it just happens that I was faffing around with, with celery this, this week, that I've got more celery than, than and know what to do with so it's a good opportunity to use it all up and to see if it was the celery that kind of gave that boost of meatiness to the lasagna that there wasn't much meat in and so that's that and then as always we've got some feta out of the freezer how much feta is there in weight let's just weigh it i've got some more breadcrumbs so we'll see if we need to anymore there's about 300 grams worth of feta so we'll put a couple of layers of feta in the bake as well so I'm just going to cook everything down. Oh yeah, I'm going to put in a, a tin of chopped tomatoes. Um, but I'm not going to add those just yet. Uh, we're going to cook everything down so it's all nice and soft. I'm going to leave it on while that's swimming. Uh, so everything will cook down slowly. And the sugars will come out of the, of the vegetables. And they'll soften. So I, want, I don't want anything too hard uh, in this dish. I just want it all nice and soft. And there's a lot of moisture to come out of the courgettes. Because courgettes are mostly moisture. I did an experiment where it was a, I mean a courgette soup and a carrot soup um, at different times and they compared the yield that I got from the courgettes and, and from the carrots and because courgettes have got a lot more water in them you get a lower yield of soup than you would if you use a kilo of carrots as opposed to a kilo of courgettes. So obviously because the, the, the carrots are more fibrous uh, and the courgettes are quite a lot of water. So. Here's what I'm doing. So I'll cook these down. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be for dinner tonight. It's going to be for dinner tomorrow. But I'm cooking it down because I've got a busy day tomorrow. I'm looking after my friend's dog. Well, she said all I need to do was pop in and let him out for, for have a wee in the garden. Uh, but I'm going to take the opportunity to take him out for a walk because I like dogs, but I can't have one because it's not really fair. If I'm if I'm I'm out a lot uh, and I'm working, it's just not fair on a dog. Even though I would love one, but I'd have to go at work, um, which might be a good reason to go at work. So, I'm going to do it today, and I can just put it in the tomorrow after I've been out for a walk with the dog. So, that's that, that's that, can't think of anything else. Yeah, so we'll cook these down, and then I, we won't reduce the tomatoes. We'll ju I think we'll just puree them up, and then add them into, 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 the, into the vegetables. So, it's a little bit green at the moment, but it'll be red after we're done. Uh, and if I've got too much... Uh, then we'll simply turn it into soup next week because it'll just need pureeing with a bit of chicken stock and we'll turn it into an easy soup. So that's my plan, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't think I need to add anything else. So it was a pan full and I've cooked it down and we're left with about half the amount after we've driven off most of that moisture. So it's intensified and got a lot nicer in flavour. Added to the tomatoes as well, cooked it down a bit more. So a quarter of the mixture I've put in the bottom of there and then we're going to put in we do two layers of cheese, so layer of breadcrumbs. I've got a few more breadcrumbs, just in case. 
but if we think about these as a more of a layer of pasta, that'll give you an idea of what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. well, we've got two spoons, and then this one's on top. Rather than just putting putting all the vegetables in the dish and then putting the breadcrumbs on the top, just on the top, I think layered is nice. I've done this before, but I just wanted to have another go. It tastes, the celery has made it taste rather quite meaty. So I think there's a there's an umami element to celery. I think. Right. So now, I have cheese. So these are just all the bits of cheese left over from passing around at work. Just in the freezer. So the five. I don't know how long they've been in the freezer, but. It's only for me, so it doesn't really matter. So about half a cheese, we would say 300 grams, so about 150 grams a layer. And sprinkle that. And knock it down a bit, and then another layer of breadcrumbs. Let you get the idea, and then we'll see. Some more bread comes when I'm done. But I'm not that bothered about that. Like that. Might just have enough. We'll see. And I'm going to top off with white sauce. I think. Just one of those, use it what I've got at the end of the week. That's that, and then another layer of cheese. Some just some cheap red cheese put on top of the white sauce that's going to go on the top. So let's see. I wonder I wash my hands so much. They're always messy. So I've got some more breadcrumbs. So probably about 400 grams worth of breadcrumbs. Don't think we're going to have enough for a layer for breadcrumbs on top of that. So three layers of breadcrumbs. These vegetables on top. And then we'll top off with white sauce maybe. But that'll be tomorrow. When I can be bothered to do some more cooking. The bread crust me that soak up the liquid from the cheese and from the vegetables, so that's about, about as full as it's going to get. Yeah, there's no more room for bread crumbs on top of that, but it doesn't matter. So, white sauce on top of that. And then cheese on top of that, and then we'll bake it in the oven tomorrow when I'm back from walking the dog. I sauced it, and I've cooked it, and I've cheesed it as well. Maybe too much cheese, but the packet that I pulled out of the freezer was quite big, so that's that. So I'm starting. Oh no. 
into that bit as well. Just putting it with cutting tube so it's just easier. In all honesty. Move the accelerate I've made it meaty meaty. But I think let's see if we get if I put the right if I, if I think I put the right amount of breadcrumbs in. Let's see if it holds together. No, that's okay. Yeah, so the one coat, so the breadcrumbs have, have sucked up any kind of extra excess moisture. How's it gonna taste without burning the roof of my mouth off? Hmm. Yeah. The solely adds a meatiness to it. I don't know why. It's probably the umaminess of it. Or maybe the saltiness of it, or the savouriness. It's quite savoury, isn't it, celery? So maybe that's it. Maybe it's the, the savouriness of the celery that makes it that makes it meaty. But anyway, so that's a good ratio for the uh, for the breadcrumbs and the and the veg and the vegetables. Um yeah, how much to put in? About a pint and a half worth of white sauce and then whatever cheese I had. But there we go. Uh, a success. And something to think about with the celery. Something to think about with the celery for the future. So I'm just unplugging something. Um, so we we can I tend to I tend to think about things and then put them to the back of my mind and then and then kind of like use them at a later date so we can use that what we now think about the celery uh, at some point in the future you know like we'll be able to use it somewhere but anyway interesting all the same